Hey guys, it's your girl Tina. I want to go ahead and shout out KB92. So KB92 sent me an email about this really disturbing story. And once again, it's coming from atrocious ass Arizona. So Arizona's ass is back in the news. And what's going on now in Arizona is that we have this 31-year-old woman. Her name is Ashley Williams. And basically, she was contacted by the police that they have been monitoring this pedophile website and that they found pictures of her daughter on the website. Now, her daughter was fully clothed. It was like regular pictures of a little girl, you know, just posing and smiling just being a normal little nine-year-old girl but what happened is that one of her Facebook friends um, one of her friends from high school he's 32 year old Christopher Medill basically sent a request on Facebook she approved it and she's known him for a long time and basically he started taking pictures of her daughter downloading it to his computer then he uploaded it onto these pornographic sites he claimed to be the little girl's father and said that he had access to her every day and that he was molesting this little girl this story is so atrocious and sick it's hard to even wrap your mind around that this is going on right now on social media go ahead and check out this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary well just how well do you know your Facebook friends or your regular friends for that matter an Arizona woman says a man she knew from high school downloaded innocent pictures of her daughter and posted them to a child porn site so how did she find out CBS 5's Rebecca Thomas joins us live in Phoenix with a story you will see only on five Rebecca the woman says federal agents actually tipped her off. Now her former friend is behind bars, facing several charges of sexual exploitation of a minor. He was one of my closest friends. Ashley Williams has known Christopher Medill since high school. The 32-year-old Phoenix man was someone she trusted right up until January 23rd. I got a phone call from Homeland Security. Williams says investigators told her Medill had swiped 83 innocent pictures of her 9-year-old daughter from her Facebook page. Her blowing out birthday cake candles, her riding her bike in her new dress with her new boots. And posted them to a Russian child porn site being monitored by DHS. Where he told everybody that he was her father and that he got to molest her every single day. And he was using those, her pictures, to trade with other fathers that are on this website that molest their children. He took the innocence and made it something disgusting. Williams says the betrayal and anger she feels for Medill, now charged with five counts of sexual exploitation of a minor, is beyond words. I just hope that he hasn't acted on any of his desires because all of our friends that we used to hang out with, they all have children. What I want to happen to him, it's not really nice, but the justice system, I want him to stay in jail. Medell is being held here at the Lower Buckeye Jail. Bail is set at $100,000. Reporting live in Phoenix, Rebecca Thomas. All right, so you guys just checked out that really disturbing story. You know, and I definitely think this man should be checked out. His fantasies are sick. For him to steal his friend's daughter's pictures and then post them on this site and claim to be her father and say that he was molesting her, they need to make sure that he was not actually, you know what I'm saying, acting out on those fantasies in real life. They need to make sure that he wasn't molesting any of his little cousins nieces nephews things like that and I bet you anything the rabbit hole goes truly truly deep this whole situation is just sickening now another thing that's kind of bothering me too is that Ashley is saying that he stole the pictures you know he stole them off of her Facebook page the thing is when you post something onto the internet it's public domain so that's the thing that kind of bothers me is that he didn't necessarily steal them these were on her Facebook page they were public anybody could have seen these pictures so he didn't steal the pictures Pictures, she posted them on the internet and that's what makes them more disturbing she knows this person he happened to take her picture that were placed on a social networking site and he uploaded them onto this porn site but who's to say that random people are not taking pictures of other people's children you know what I'm saying and doing the same thing that this man is doing you know that's the part that really has me bothered you know it's not so much stealing because whatever we put online is public so now it's to the point now where you have to think twice about posting pictures of your children you know if you have pictures because I see it all the time people post pictures of their daughters and like you know little cute 
cute dresses and they're posing and they have them on Instagram and they have like the multiple little um, boxes for them and you know you have a lot of kids who um, are posing adult situations where they dress them up like little adults and these kids are adorable you know they're beautiful children but after you know hearing about this story it makes me think you know are there other pedophiles still in these babies pictures and posting them onto these sites and claiming them as their children and saying that they're molesting them and having fantasies of them you know it's really really sad that there's nothing that's innocent nowadays it's like all innocence is lost especially with the internet you know it's sad that a grown man would take this innocent girl's picture they were just regular pictures her at birthday parties you know her having fun posing in front of the camera for her mom and he would do that to her you know i just think i just find the whole situation just creepy and disgusting you know it's it's I just find the whole situation just creepy and disgusting. So you do have to be mindful of the type of pictures that you post online and that the things that you put on Instagram and on social media because once you post it on the internet, it's there to stay and folks can literally do whatever with your pictures, unfortunately, which is really, really sad and really, really crazy. Thank you, KB92, for sending me the email. This story is definitely atrocious, definitely crazy. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. What do you guys think about this entire situation? And what do you think should happen to Christopher Medill? Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.